Android. Okay, so the first thing to make you aware of is everything is completely customizable. So I can just click a button and I can change how the app icons are laid out. I can bring the side menu down. I can put the menu down at the bottom. I can change the whole color schemes. So I can have, say I want to change the icon title and make it, make it a red color. I mean, I can do that and it'll change live um, on the screen. So I can change it anyway. So as I change, I can see what the results are gonna be, which is handy for people. Background settings, great for branding. You can have your own images as a background or you can use our, our color picker. And if you want, you can do like a, a gradient can see it changes in real time. So it's it's purely um, giving the user 100% control over every single um, display within their application. Header settings, you can choose your heading settings, your home, your buttons, your back buttons, and your splash screens. Little screen that shows as soon as you load an app. So now I'll just give you a, a quick run through of the features. You could push notifications. These can be sent um, via, you can send push notifications just to Apple users, you can send them to Android users, and you can send them based on location, or you can just send them to everyone. And what that allows you to do is if it's a local business and people can send push notifications to their customers, and if they happen to be in the area, they'll get the message. Um, AdMob, it's just advertising. It's basically run by Google and it's basically AdSense for apps. Um, location, you can put in your local business location or your business location, and it will give you directions in the app to that address. RSS feeds, which is an extremely powerful feature. It's great for anyone who has a Blogger blog, WordPress blog, Tumblr, or anything that runs RSS feeds, even YouTube RSS feeds. Um, it'll display all that content perfectly uh, within the application. I'll just show you an example. So you can see here, this is how it's gonna how it's gonna display. Now, if we go back to the look and feel, and we'll scroll up. So now we can see, and um, what we want to change. So let's say, okay, I want to. Maybe make it like that, choose, and then the hover, just make it a, so as you can see, then they'll click, and then it'll show you the article, including all the content, and again, if you want, you can just change your, your text, by changing the main text, I have it set to red, you can just click a button and change it to whatever, whatever color you want. Maybe you want it, want it black or, or any other color you can imagine. So that's the RSS feed. Now, as I said, it works for videos. It works for everything. Um, next, I want to show you, we'll just load up the emulator here and we'll scroll down. I'll show you coupons. Coupons are very powerful because everything in this app is dynamic which means once I have created my app and I submit it to the Google Play Store or Amazon or the Apple App Store, when I add in content from this dashboard to this app, it will automatically sync across um, to the app user. So I could add in a coupon, send a push notification to let the user know we've added in a new coupon for a product, service, whatever and then they will land. I can send them directly to the coupon page. So they'll see the coupon and when they come in, um, this is their coupon, they just hand it over to the person behind the till and the coupon will be claimed. Now you can expire these coupons at any time. So it's all 100% dynamic. So let's say you're managing this for a, a client and they're paying you a monthly retainer to manage their app. 
So you can hide the coupon and if I do that, it'll instantly not be visible within the app. Or I can choose to show it or I can just delete it. If I create a new coupon, it will display automatically within the application. There's no rebuilding your app and then submitting it again for approval. Everything you add in here will automatically display in your app to all your users and it goes for everything um, from audio, the audio gallery, which I'll just show you. Just click on it. This is if you have, I've just took the TED Talks feed. Um, again, I can alter these colors and look and feel, but you can actually just play the audio. So anyone who has audio, um, it would just play on the device. It's an audio player. So it's great for people with who do podcasts and things like that. The next step is loyalty cards. So we'll just have a click. This is a loyalty card program. Again, I can change the design as I want and do a card, you hand this into a shop, they click it, that's the stamp that's going to take place. There's a special uh, verification code that only the, your client or whoever you built the app for will know or staff will know. They'll enter in the code and then it will stamp the card for them. So once they get six stamps and they'll get a free coffee or whatever it is you've decided this loyalty card is for again once again you can completely change the design so you can have it branded towards and um, the local business or company who you're building the app for next we have amazon catalog and what amazon catalog does is it allows users to enter in a keyword and it is going to build out um, products based on that keyword and it all goes through their affiliate link so I'll just show you quickly what I mean so these are all the products it's for Chuck Norris obviously and they can buy it now you can change the description anything you want you can add into here so the truth about Chuck Norris 400 facts about the world's greatest human and you could add in more of your description now this is for Amazon products if you have an e-commerce store or you know people who have an e-commerce store, they can put their entire catalog into a mobile app. So now it makes it very easy for people with e-commerce websites to now transfer their e-commerce websites into a mobile application. We also have it hooked in with iTunes as well through the user's affiliate ID, so they can display anything that's on the iTunes, the iTunes store. And we're hooked into all the major social, social networks um for example like instagram i'll just show you real quick so that's the way the instagram would display and then people's photos if they click it they can create a slideshow and click play on a, on the app it's all sort of touch screen interface so that's instagram it's the same with um twitter and, and facebook you can put in the twitter id it'll bring back the latest information Show more tweets. You can customize all this to be exactly the way, the way you want it. Um, same with Facebook. The way we display Facebook, we're not just displaying the fan page. We're actually displaying, um, it is sort of in a nice presentable way, which can be customized to match the client's brand. Um, video gallery. Again, very easy. I'll just show you, it'll display YouTube. Now on an application, this will turn into full screen. So I'll just give you a quick, quick look at video. And you'll notice I've got a range of different icon styles. It's just to show you the kind of way that you can style your app. So in the video gallery, we will, if you want to add videos, you can add from YouTube or you can add your own. So if you want to add from YouTube, you just simply, you could search, you can search via playlist to pick videos only from specific playlists. You can just do a normal search or you can do um, a channel search. Click go. It'll bring back that channel. Pick the videos you want to display. Done. They're added in. You can change the description of the video. You can change the title of the description. Now again, when you've added, when you've built your app and you submitted it, as you add in videos here, they'll also update in real time. So say you wanted to add in more videos, you never, you don't have to regenerate your app and submit it to the app stores again. 
everything you do here syncs across to the user's app that they have in their they have in their pocket to their phone. So you can send a push notification. By the way, we just added a new video. Link the push notification to the app page, to the page that it's on in the app in your phone. We'll just click save. So again, I can go back to look and feel just to show you an example because you'll see that the titles aren't really showing well there. Um, you want to make the titles white, you can change the text. So that's how easy it is to change um, the design of your app. We've got opt-in forms, so that's squeeze pages, mobile squeeze pages. And that's maybe if you want people on your app to join your email list as well. And vice versa, you can build an app for people on your email list. You could build, turn membership sites into an application so you can give your customers not only an online members area, but an app on their phone so they can access your tutorials or videos. And then it gives you another form of communication with them via push notifications. This Flickr, uh, this, this is a static page, and I'll just show you real quick. What this effectively is, is anything that you can do in HTML, you can add into your application. So any, you can, we have it via, via text, but if you want to add in um, any HTML, you just need to copy and paste it in. I'll just show you real quickly what I mean. So you can just click on the HTML button and paste it in. I mean, you can use our text editor, you can bold, you can on bold, you can underline, you can italic, you can change the font size, family, and so on and so on, add in images and whatever. Or if you want to get some custom HTML done, maybe for a flyer you want to put in your, your app, then you can do that as well. And as I gain, if I make a changes here, I don't need to regenerate my application again and submit it to the app store. I just need to click and save. And then I would update it and it would automatically sync the updates across uh, to the app that the user has. We have, hold on, I'll show you. We'll just go into the emulator again. We have a notes feature, which is handy. So let's say someone wants to add a note. They can type out notes. Maybe they just want to keep their notepad specific to whatever the app's about. Click OK, and then their notes are added. We have a whole bunch of different styles uh, for the notes feature. I'll just show you real quick. So you can see here they can pick a whole range of different templates to use. You can just click Save, and then that would be it saved. Uh, what else? We have image gallery, so you can upload images, maybe screenshots or photos that have been taken off a hotel room, a restaurant, the coffee shop, um, hairstyles, gardening, just whatever you can imagine. You can have your own photo gallery. You can book a table. There's loads of services online, like opentable.com. This integrates with it, so people can make a table reservation. You can display menus from the popular menu. Um, websites online, uh, order food. There's a ton of massive sort of hubs where people go to now, like justeat.com, where they can go and order food. This now works where you can now display that businesses just eat sort of order page, menu, etc. within the app. So they can just open up the app and order their food directly from within the app. 